All right, welcome to this video on the settings page and how to set up your tournaments. Um, we are going to briefly go through um, everything that is on the settings page and to make sure that you are ready to go. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the uh, settings page by clicking setup and then clicking on settings right here. Uh, so the first area I want to cover today is the tournament information box, uh, which would be this guy right here. Um, if you ever need to change the name of your event, uh, you're able to um, just click right in here, uh, change it however you need to. For the sake of this video, I'm going to add a few exclamation marks. I'm going to hit Save Tournament Info. And you'll notice that uh, the name actually did not change yet. Um, it's not a big deal. You just need to refresh your page. So I'm going to right-click over here, Reload. Um, and you'll notice now that uh, my tournament has exclamation marks. So I'm actually going to go back to the settings page. Um, I'm going to erase these. Save the tournament again. Um, just reload it so I can show you guys again that it will update. Um, if you don't reload it, I think it's just the next time that you log into your event, you should see it updated correctly. Um, so I'm going to come back here to the settings page. Um, some other things you can change is the facility name that the uh, um, tournament's going to be held in, the address, um, you know, your city, your state, your zip code. Uh, right here will be your event um, logo. So I already have one in there, but if I click upload here, choose file, let's say I just want um, just an old TW logo. I click that, I continue, um, and then if I save the tournament now, I, I believe if I reload, it'll, yep, it'll appear right there. So, I mean, there's, that's where your logo will show. I'm going to go back to the settings page here quickly. Uh, the contact email, uh, this would be, if, uh, you leave your email there, so that way anyone that is registered for your tournament or wants to know more about your tournament, they can um, contact you there. Uh, here's a slot for your event flyer. Um, you can upload it. It's the exact same process as the logo up here. Uh, your event website, uh, any kind of information. Um, let's see here. The last one we got is a governing body. Um, you can select a governing body if you're with a state organization or a national organization. Um, you can add those there. I'm not going to do any of those. Um, and any time that you make any changes to these um, this tournament info stuff up here, you need to make sure to hit um, save tournament info. Otherwise, it won't save automatically. Everything down here will save automatically, um, but this stuff where you actually fill it out and type answer or type information in, you'll need to save that. So I'm going to hit save here. And uh, I will briefly go over some of the more important uh, different settings here. Uh, you can skip the post YouTube video ones. That's something from years ago that I do not believe is used anymore. Um, the show bracket map. Uh, this is where you're going to sh um, show kind of like a road map of when a wrestler loses, where he's going to fall into the brackets. Um, so you can turn that on or off. Uh, the example right here would be like loser of 54 may show up on a constellation um, until someone's name shows up there. Um, it's, it's going to show until that, that, like I said, that wrestler is, um, you know, put into that spot. Uh, some people like it. Others think it gets cluttered on the bracket. Um, but, again, that all depends on your preferences and the bracket types that you are using. Uh, the next two here, these are, these are pretty self-explanatory. Who do you want the buys to go to? Um, if you want your top-seeded wrestlers um, to get the buys you'll just you'll flip this one to yes um if you do push matches to seeds of the top seeded wrestlers will get matches and not buys um if you leave them both i believe that is uh just random uh, they'll randomly go uh separate teams this is going to just keep uh wrestlers from the same team separated on the brackets uh you're going to want to leave testing mode uh to no at all times um, in a different video, we'll go over how to send your event to the testing site. Um, and you'll notice that when you're on the testing playground, uh, this will be yes. But I'm on the live site, so we're going to keep this um, to no. Uh, next, we got use tie breaking. This is uh, basically will show you the, um, like the list of how the tie breaking will uh, be determined for round, uh, round robin. 
Um, since it's flipped to yes here, you'll be able to see uh, tie breaking right here. If it's flipped to no, it won't show, but it's still like the, the basic generic criteria is still being used. Um, you'll flip it on if you ever need to see it or if you ever need to make any changes to it. Um, and this, this goes for a lot of different things here. If you don't see something in this uh, menu bar up here, uh, it's a good thing to check this, or a good idea to check the settings page to see that turn it off. Um, for an example here, I'm going to turn tie breaking off. You'll see that reloaded, and I go back to setup, um, and there's no tie breaking here. So if I want that back on, and then I go back to setup, and then you'll see that tie breaking is here. I'm going to go back to my settings page, and after tie breaking, uh, we got prelims. Uh, this would be the same um, situation. If you wanted to use prelims, you'd flip it to yes, um, and the prelim settings will be able uh, will show up in the menu bars. Uh, right here, left menu. There's prelims. Um, I'm going to ignore the cross bracket prelims. Use divisions. Uh, I guess if this is like a tournament where you have, you know, uh, the single A division, double A division, triple A division, and each other in weight classes, um, you'll be able to add like uh, the teams and whatnot to a certain divisions. Uh, this is a predefined tournament that I'm on, so you don't really use divisions or groups. Um, if this was an open formatted tournament, you'd not have that option, and they'd just automatically be in there. Uh, Matt's uh, self-explanatory. Um, you just, you know, this, if you want to add mats to your tournament. There are some cases if you have like a pig, uh, um, like a, a bullpen or something and you're not running electronic bouts, just running bout sheets, um, you could turn that off and, and get those off of the tournament. Uh, where are some other ones on here? Uh, the pairing pairing report, basically it's going to show you how fast your tournament's running. Uh, it can give you an idea of how long bouts are taking. Um, if you want to use this, you know, if you flip that to yes. Qualifying tournament, uh, that would be in the case where uh, you're in like a tournament series or a regional or sectional for a state tournament sort of thing. You could flip that to yes. Um, if you're going to do that, that's one that we'd probably want to help you with. So the first time uh, you go through that, you should send in a ticket, uh, reach out to us a little bit, and we'd be able to help you out. Uh, let's see other important ones. Uh, these ones pretty common. Uh, pretty also pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want um, to allow statisticians to edit their rosters or edit anyone on their teams in the event, you'll be able to or to add sorry add wrestlers. Um, you flip that to yes. Um, if you want to give them permissions to delete them, you can do that there as well. Yeah, again, it's, it's, all, it's all how um, you want to set up in your preferences. Uh, electronic bouts. If you are planning on having computers at each mat um, and going and gonna to score electronically, um, you'll be able to turn this on to yes. Um, and then also the mat assignment depth. So if you're assigning... Um, you know, if you're calling bouts to mats as they open up, this is the depth that um, you're doing. So three would be the case of one one is wrestling, one match is on deck, and then the third match is in the hole. Uh, Trackcast, if you're planning on streaming your videos and everything, um, or sorry, streaming your event with video, uh, you'll be able to turn that on to yes, and you'll get the uh, video options um, for setting up your event. Um, so that's basically a quick rundown of the settings page. Um, again, all events are different. Um, if you import in from a different event, I'd still recommend going through this and making sure everything is set up how you would like to.